At Laurel Tree, we have a program for our youngest students called Forest Kindergarten. It takes kids completely out of the classroom, provides teacher support for student interests, and believes in student-led learning. It's hands-on, play-based, social, and allows kids to take risks. Travel is the equivalent of that for teenagers. I want more for our kids than what they can get from textbooks. I want our kids to know how to find their way around the planet, to know and respect that while other cultures often have different rules on their own, that people are very similar all over the planet. I want our kids to know how to budget their money and to know how to be good ethical travelers. I want them to be communicators and storytellers. I want them to own a passport, to know how to get a visa, to negotiate airports and train stations, to plan their own travel, and to work through hard times with a group of people. You can get all that from travel, but real travel, not a package tour. Travel means the students do the research and have input into the trip. It means there's choice and the opportunity to do things in small groups of their choice. Unstructured time is essential. Some days are for doing laundry and sleeping. Some days are for playing in the pool. Some days are for magical experiences at night markets or elephant sanctuaries or ancient ruins. And some are long, hard days of bus travel and border crossings. Not everyone gets the same thing, goes to the same place, or has the same experiences. Students have been taught to go where they're led, stay where they're put, and above all, to follow, follow, follow. Travel pushes them to decide, to lead, to engage for themselves. Tours are not travel. Tours take away choice. We take away choice because we don't want our students to take risks or make bad choices, but they will have to in order to learn to manage themselves. It's important for students to have the chance to practice that with supportive adults. Different students are at different levels and they learn from each other. The senior girls who could run the trip on their own will mentor the younger ones and show them how to do things. Adults model, provide a safety net, and help kids build competencies. But they are not running things all the time. As much as possible and within the bounds of safety, I want my students to travel in ways that allow for their mistakes, their choice, their interest. I want them to be able to do this on their own. We're just the training wheels. When we were in Cambodia, land of ancient ruins and modern tragedy, we'd read the histories and the memoirs. We'd done the timelines. We knew who built Angkor Wat and the stories of the genocide. There was an understanding when we went to the war museum of what those guns had done and that many of the people we met had either survived the Khmer Rouge or had been the Khmer Rouge. Our discussions on the causes and warning signs of genocide became less abstract. We saw a circus performance by young people who are using the arts as a way to deal with the cultural violence and poverty they've survived. In Thailand, we knew the folk tales, had read the novels, studied the language. The things we saw and did reinforced the learning we'd done. Temple etiquette, street food, tuk-tuks. The experience of travel isn't the end of the learning. It just gives them a hook to hang future learning on. It's the thing that allows them to continue to learn about that topic. It creates interest and space in the brain for future learning and understanding. Kids who've traveled are more likely to be engaged, not only in that topic, but in real learning in general. 
Once you get a taste of the power of exploring and finding out for your own benefit, it's a hard habit to break. So I travel with my students because it's an age-appropriate way to engage in hands-on learning for high schoolers. At that age, much of what they need to learn isn't available in the classroom. I travel with kids because it develops strong bonds with my kids and between my kids, and that trust helps us do harder things together in the classroom. And finally, I travel with kids because knowledge defeats ignorance and fear. People fear what they don't know, and that fear puts barriers between people and nations at a time when we need unity. I want our students to be people who know, not people who fear.